Today, we're exploring a cool Telegram bot built with Node-RED. This bot greets users, collects video ideas, tracks interactions, saves data, and sends updates. It's perfect for beginners, and I'll break it down step by step. So, let's dive in. This bot, called Mr. Tech Bangalore Bot, responds to commands like slash start for a welcome, slash suggest for video ideas, slash users to list users, and slash about for channel info. It logs interactions, stores suggestions in a database, and can message users proactively. By the end, you'll understand how this node red flow works. Ready? Let's go. Step 1. What's Node-RED? Node-RED is a visual tool for building automation without heavy coding. You drag and drop nodes, connect them, and create workflows. Our flow has 16 nodes working together to make this Telegram bot. Think of it as a team where each node has a job, passing info to the next. We start with the Telegram receiver node, which listens for messages. Step 2. Catching messages with the Telegram receiver. The MyBot node is our Telegram receiver. It's the bot's front door, grabbing messages sent to Mr. Tech Bangalore Bot. When someone types slash start or slash suggest, it creates a data packet with the user's chat ID, message, and timestamp. It's like a receptionist noting who's calling and what they said. This node sends the data to two places, the log user activity node to track users and the debug input node to show what's coming in. Let's check the debug node first. Step three, peeking with the debug input node. The debug input node is like a spy camera showing every incoming message in Node-RED's debug panel. If a user sends suggest AI video, it displays the chat ID, message, and timestamp. It's a handy tool for developers to check if the bot's receiving messages correctly. It doesn't affect responses, just helps us troubleshoot. Next, let's see how we track users. Step four. Logging users. The log user activity. Node records every user interaction. It's like a guest book, storing the chat ID, message, and timestamp in a memory called user log. New users get a new entry with their first message time and a list of interactions.
each message adds to that list, building a history. It also sends data to the debug log node to show the user log in the debug panel, like checking the guestbook. Then it passes the message to the check command node to decide what to do next. Step five, routing with the check command node. The check command node is the bot's brain. It's a switch node that checks the message and sends it to the right place. It's like a traffic cop with five parts. Start goes to send welcome. Suggest goes to handle suggestion. Users goes to list users. About goes to about. Anything else goes to default help. This keeps the bot organized, handling each command correctly. Let's follow these parts. Step six, welcoming users. For start, the send welcome node sends a greeting. Hello, Mr. Tech Bangalow viewers. Try suggest users about. It's a warm invite to explore the bot sent to the response node, which delivers it to the user's Telegram chat. Step seven, handling suggestions. If a user types suggest AI video, the handle suggestion node steps in. It checks if there's an actual suggestion. If they type just suggest, it replies, please add an idea. Otherwise, it saves the suggestion to a suggestions list with the date and responds, thanks for the suggestion. Regards, Mr. Tech Bangalore. This response goes to the response node for the user, the debug suggestion node to show in the debug panel, and the save to MongoDB node to store it in a database. Let's talk about that next. Step eight, saving to MongoDB. The save to MongoDB node stores suggestions in a MongoDB database in a video suggestion collection. It's like a filing cabinet for your audience's ideas. This makes it easy to review suggestions later like planning your next video based on what users want. Step nine, sending replies. The response node is the Telegram sender, delivering all replies to users. Whether it's a welcome, a thank you, or another message, this node ensures it reaches the user's chat. It's the bot's delivery service, handling responses for all commands. Step 10. Listing users. For users, the list users node checks the user log and lists all users, their chat IDs, first interaction and message count. For example, two users, chat ID 123, first scene, a one, interactions, three. It sends this to the response node for developers. Step 11, sharing channel info. The about node handles about, sending Mr. Tech Bangalore. Subscribe for Node Red, IoT, and automation content with a YouTube link. It's a mini ad for your channel sent via the response node. Step 12, helping with unknown commands. If a user types something like hi, the default help node replies commands slash start slash suggest slash users slash about. It's a guide for users sent to the response node, keeping the bot friendly. Step 13, proactive messaging. The flow also sends proactive messages. The trigger proactive message node, like a button, starts the process. It signals the send proactive message node, which sends, hello, stay tuned for updates to users in the user log. It goes to the response node for delivery and the debug proactive message node for checking. This is great for announcing new videos. Step 14, why it's cool. This flow starts with receiving messages, logs users, routes commands, saves suggestions, and sends replies. 
It's like a virtual assistant for your channel, engaging your audience and collecting ideas. Node Red makes it easy to build, and you can add features like images or other integrations. Step 15. Build your own. Want to try this? Get a bot token from Telegram's bot father. Install Node Red and add Telegram and MongoDB nodes. Test with debug nodes and experiment. Check our Telegram community and Node Red docs for help. That's it. We've covered a Telegram bot that greets users, saves suggestions, and sends updates, all with Node Red. If you liked this, give a thumbs up, comment your thoughts, or suggest videos with our bots slash suggest command. Subscribe to Mr. Tech Bangalore for more tech tutorials. See you next time.